Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. However, this one's going to be probably a playlist since I'm going to go through the entire process of setting up uh, the source version of Unreal. I'll be installing the Oculus version as most of the development I do on the platform is virtual reality based. But what I'll do is I'll show you how to actually get the original version as well. So 4.24. It's the same process, but it'll just be a different link. So I'll show you where to get that from. But to begin with, you need to make sure you've got a Epic Games account, which I've got here, I'm logged in, and a GitHub account. So the idea between these is we're actually going to link them together so we can get access to the Epic Games organization. This can be done by signing up for both. So you've got an Epic Games account, a GitHub account, and then you follow this step here to link them together. The issue with this is I've already got them linked. So I'm not going to undo it, whereas I've uninstalled everything else so I can follow through. So we'll go from here. So the first thing you need to do is actually download GitHub Desktop. So the idea behind this is we'll have a place to organize the source code and we can work from. So to do that, just hit download. I've already got it. So I'm going to, going to run as administrator. So we'll open that one. That way I can close this and we don't need to worry about it. That should open, yep. And from here, that's pretty much all we need. So for now anyway. So we've got that, I'm gonna move it to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back to Unreal and find the source code. So you can do that by just Googling. Google. GitHub. And down we've got Epic Games from GitHub. So we're going to load this up and then here you can see the first comment is Unreal Engine private. So because it's a private this is what you actually need to set up the link between otherwise you won't be able to access this page at 404 because it's technically private. So what you'll end up doing is we'll end up forking the code, uh, forking the code and be able to download it from there. But this is for 4.23, or you can actually choose it from here. So you'd use the branch, drop down and hit 4.24, which is the most recent one, and then we'll clone it. But I'm not gonna use this version. I'm actually gonna use the Oculus version. So I need to go to Oculus source code UE4. And in here, should be able to open this up. Coming down, you'll see this link here, Unreal 4.24, the latest. We're going to open this up, and you can see the difference here now is Oculus VR, Unreal Engine, whereas this one is Epic Games, Unreal Engine. So this is from Epic Games, this is from Oculus. And this is the one that I'm going to use to build my project, because most of the development I do and on this channel is virtual reality based. So it doesn't really make too much difference, but it's got some nice little improvements in it and more regularly updated. So the source code version of Oculus is updated roughly once a month, whereas the updates which take part into the main version of Epic Games Launcher and the software there is upgraded about every three months. So this is it's relatively quick and updated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone or download. We can fork, which I've already got. So we're going to do that. We're going to clone or download, and we're going to hit this link here to copy this to the notepad. So going back to the GitHub desktop, we're going to go file. We're going to clone repository, and we're going to use URL. We're just going to paste that in there. So now we've got the GitHub Oculus VR Unreal Engine .git, and we're going to choose a location to install this. So the way I would recommend doing this is install it to the main drive where you're going to install Visual Studio because that's something we're going to have to do in a minute. So we're going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it Unreal Engine. I really recommend removing. That's bad. I really recommend removing spaces as they can cause an issue with compiling later because of namespaces and the length of folders. So keep this relatively short. I'm going to keep this Unreal Engine. 
and select it and we'll select all this. Now we've got it. Now we can actually clone the repository down. So all this is doing here is copying the files from GitHub directly to the machine. And I'll come back once that's done. Okay, so it's finished downloading or installing as you want to put it really. Um, so now in the folder that we created, which is on my C drive, we now have these files here. But we can't really do anything with them at the minute until we install Visual Studio. So the first thing we need to do now is go to Visual Studio. And we're going to download, we'll try 2019. I'm not too sure. If, um, I think it should work. So we download community 2019. This is all free. You know, we just got to wait for the start for the download to begin. There it is. Cool. So Visual Studio. So I've done this a couple of times. So we're going to open that up. Uh, we're going to let it do its thing. So continue. Okay, so with that done, all we need is the game development C and individual components. We're going to take on MS Build. The last time I did this, it didn't work without that. So we're going to do that and we're going to hit install. So Visual Studio should install to the C drive, the main drive with your Windows operating system on. So now what we need to do is wait for this to be completed. Okay, so now it's installed. You can see we need to do a restart. So I'm going to do that now and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay. Awesome. So I'm back after restarting. It's now it's gone. So if we go to desktop, we've got that there, and then we should have Visual Studio 2019. I'm going to open a file and I'm just going to make a desktop shortcut. We've got that. Now we'll open this up. We won't need it for a second, but I might say we've got some other stuff to do. So all you need to do is sign in with your Visual Studio account. If you've got a Microsoft account and using Windows, it should automatically just log you in with that. You can see we can actually clone and fork and do the same stuff as Git within it, but it's just easier to keep them a little bit separated. So this is looking for an old folder that I've got, which isn't there anymore. But now what we need to do is actually go back into the document with our Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine. And from here, we need to activate. So we're going to do setup. Stop that. This is going to check the dependencies and what's online. And it's going to do some more downloading. So we just need to wait for this to finish. Popped up with the notification saying enable Unreal Engine 4. So we've got that. So that was generate project path file. Now we need to do setup. So back in the folder, we're just going to double click that. It's going to check the dependencies. But now you can see we're not getting an error. And it's just going to set up and install these. We've got another accept. Yep. So yeah. That's it. It's done. Cool. So after running the after running setup.bat, you just need to hit generate project files and hit enter. So click it and hit enter. It should take a second or two. Go run through. Give some warnings there, but hopefully it'll launch. You'll now have a, a UE4.SLN file. You just need to double click that and it'll open up Visual Studio. Right click on Engine UE4. We're going to hit Build. And now we just need to let this run for a little bit and it'll start building the project files and all the code that's needed to run it. This can take a little while, so I recommend getting coffee or food. Awesome, so that's all done. So we've compiled the engine, we've got it ready. So what we can do now is right click. We are going to debug, start new instance.
we're going to allow. From here, we should be good to go to just load up Unreal. So on mine, it's automatically loaded Steam VR, which you don't need right now. So. Cool. So it's all loaded. Everything's working fine. We're back into the project stuff. And you can see it's compiling shaders in the bottom right, which is why it takes so long to actually load the project to begin with. Now all you need to do is load up whatever it is you want. You're good to go. So all my games. And then you've got access to everything else because this is the VR version from Oculus. Most likely I'll be spending time on the virtual reality part. But yeah, apart from that, you're good to go. So I hope this tutorial went well. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, that's fine, just because my headset's not tight. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And if you have any questions that's not related to this, or you want to see a tutorial about something, just leave a comment below and I'll get around to doing it. And hopefully it'll help you out. Awesome. See you guys.